In the E1 reaction, a good leaving group, such as a halide, a sulfonate, or water, dissociates. The carbocation intermediate thus formed then loses a proton from the adjacent beta position to a weak base. The product of the reaction is an alkene. E1 stands for first order elimination. The loss of the leaving group is the rate determining step, and in this step there is only one species that is mechanistically involved. Therefore, the reaction rate depends only on the concentration of that species, which is the substrate. This makes it a first order process. In this specific example, chloride dissociates from tertiary butyl chloride. The tertiary carbocation that results then loses a proton to the weak base ethanol. As the proton is lost, electrons from the sigma bond collapse in between alpha and beta, forming the pi bond of the alkene product. Water can also serve as a good leaving group when a reactant alcohol is treated with strong acid. In this specific example, the benzylic alcohol is protonated by sulfuric acid. Water then dissociates. The benzylic carbocation that is produced loses a proton, and that yields the alkene product. When multiple unique beta positions are present, the major product is the more highly substituted alkene, which is also known as the Zaitsev product. In this specific example, the reaction begins with the dissociation of bromide from the tertiary alkyl bromide substrate. The tertiary carbocation that results has two unique beta positions, beta and beta prime. In this instance, the loss of a proton from beta yields the more highly substituted alkene product, which in this instance is a tri-substituted alkene because it bears one, two, three alkyl substituents. When elimination can yield cis or trans alkene products, the trans product predominates because it minimizes steric hindrance. In this example, iodide dissociates from the secondary alkyl iodide substrate, and the secondary carbocation that results then loses a proton from the adjacent beta position that will yield the more highly substituted alkene product, which in this case is a di-substituted alkene product. When the proton is lost from the beta position, the cis or trans alkene product can be formed but the trans product is the major product because it suffers from less steric encumbrance. Because E1 reactions involve carbocation intermediates, carbocation rearrangement is a possibility. In this specific example, the reaction begins with the dissociation of tosylate. This affords a secondary carbocation but this secondary carbocation is adjacent to a tertiary center. Therefore, 1,2-hydride shift occurs to relocate the carbocation to the more stable tertiary position. Next, a proton is lost from the beta position so as to yield the most highly substituted alkene product possible. In this case, that alkene product is tetra-substituted. In summary, efficient E1 reaction requires a stable carbocation intermediate. So E1 reaction does not typically occur with primary substrates unless they are resonance stabilized, meaning allylic or benzylic. A weak base is also a key feature of the E1 reaction, and weak bases include water and alcohols. The predominant product of E1 reaction possesses the more highly substituted alkene. When geometric isomers, for instance cis or trans, or E or Z, are possible, the trans arrangement of the larger substituents will be favored so as to minimize steric hindrance. Carbocation rearrangement is also a possibility in this reaction.
The preceding was an excerpt from the book Introductory Organic Reaction Mechanisms, a color-coded approach to arrow pushing. If you found this video to be helpful, you may be interested in the complete book, which is available in ebook format from Scribd, in paperback from Amazon, and in paperback at a discounted price from Lulu.